Should the Gophers football head, head coach stay or go? Tonight there are two petitions and they're focusing on the job status of Tracy Clays. Angela Davis is following this for us and I know that one of those petitions, Angela, was delivered today. Yes, it was. More than 2,400 people have signed a written petition calling on the U of M to fire head football coach Tracy Clays. Now, those people are concerned about his leadership skills in the aftermath of those sexual assault allegations against 10 football players. Meanwhile, there is an online petition that is also growing in its number of supporters. Those people firmly believe that Tracy Clays should stay. He's the man in the middle of a messy investigation that has stirred up the community on and off campus. Wednesday morning, Nancy Bittens brought her nine-year-old son with her to the U's athletics department to personally deliver a petition calling for Coach Clays to be fired. She says the response was less than welcoming. I don't understand it, quite frankly. I, I, we had obtained full permission. Uh, three times, um, once right in front of the media, and then they threatened to arrest us, so I'm, I'm shocked. Biddens was able to deliver the petition to the athletics department as well as the office of U of M President Eric Kaler. I think his tweet was a poor choice of words, and it didn't show the real leadership that we needed to see um, from him in kind of a troubling situation. Coach Clays tweeted his support for his team shortly after learning the players were planning to boycott the Holiday Bowl game because they believed their suspended teammates were not being treated fairly. Shortly after the September incident in which a young woman says she was sexually assaulted by a group of football players, Minneapolis police investigated. No charges were filed by the Hennepin County Attorney's Office. But a separate investigation by the U of M recommended expulsions and suspensions for 10 players and revealed disturbing details. I find this unacceptable. Um, right now I, I wouldn't send my son to this university and I wouldn't have him coached by this person um, and we need a change. We can do better. This, this, does, this, the whole country is watching us. Meanwhile, an online petition praising Tracy Clays and insisting he stay is gathering a growing number of signatures. By late Wednesday afternoon, nearly 500 people had signed it. Now, late this afternoon, Athletic Director Mark Coyle issued a statement saying, now that our football team has completed its season following an exciting win in Tuesday night's Holiday Bowl, Coach Clays and I will take this opportunity to reflect on this past season before sitting down together to talk about the future and my expectations for our football program. Now, those who want Coach Clays to stay, say, or to go rather, say that a review of the entire University of Minnesota Athletics Department needs to be done. Makes sense. All right, Angela, thank you.